friends, today's Faith 5 scripture is Romans 12, verse 12, and it reads, When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. In our song, you can sing the response, be joyful, be patient, be faithful. Now to our faith five. <laughs> Hi, Janelle. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. It's a good day. How are you? I'm very good. It's awesome. good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. So we're jumping into our faith five. Um, so what's your what's your high and low from this week? I'm going to start with my low. So I planted a, a garden out back where I live and I planted a bunch of sunflowers this year. And my low is we haven't had a lot of rain and I keep praying every night for rain. And so here's like one of my little sunflowers Aww. and look how sad he is. He needs rain and he's all dried up all his little all his little leaves. Oh, <laughs> poor, guy. <laughs> poor guy. And then on Sunday, Sunday evening, we got a big rainstorm and I was so thankful and all my sunflowers got watered. And so look <gasps> how happy this guy oh is. Oh my goodness. Wow. So wow. Happy. It looks so good. Yeah. And so my low is, I, you know, we need rain and I keep pray praying for rain. And my high is we got rain on Sunday and we got a rainbow. So that was really exciting. Yes, I saw the rainbow. We were out in the puddles. That was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. What's your high and low, Michelle? Yeah, so my, my I, I guess I'll start with my low. Um, was It's just having so many things, so many different things to do. And my brain is turning and turning and turning and... Uh, Sometimes I feel like I can't fit it all in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I know it, it'll all get done. All the things I need to do will get done um, in the right amount of time. <laughs> and then my high is that we went paddle boarding this past Saturday. And we hadn't done that yet since we've been in Pennsylvania. So that oh. was really exciting. Yeah. What yeah. is paddle boarding? Yeah, so paddle boarding, if you th think of this as the water, mm -hmm. and here's a little board. We have a, <laughs> a beach felt scene that we made. <laughs> cool. Uh, then you stand on the board and oh. you have one paddle and you swish it that way and that way. Um, and you can sit or you can kneel. And the kids sat and we, we each had a, a board with one kid on it. An adult and a kid <laughs> um and it's it's different from surfing you know surfing you're more you know energized riding a, a wave but with paddle boarding it's cal it's calm water oh nice yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> did you did you see any animals when you were out paddle boarding yeah um we saw a turtle oh yeah very cute and a duck so we didn't see too many ducks but we saw one and we might have seen a heron oh uh, and lots of little fishies <laughs> cool that's so yeah. cool yeah yeah it was a fun time so all right now we're gonna dive into our scriptures so we 
shared our highs and lows. Now we're going to read our scripture. And this week's scripture is Romans 12, chapter 12, verse 12. And it reads, when you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. So when you hope, be joyful. Joyful. When you suffer, be patient. patient. When you pray, be faithful. So we talked about our highs and lows. We read our scripture. And now we're going to talk about how the scripture applies to our highs and lows. Hmm. I think for me, I it's to be patient in hope. Hope to be patient. Um, I've been praying and being very patient as I hope and pray for rain and uh, gracious God brought us rain and I, you know, watered all of my sunflowers and I'm so very pleased. Um, And I, what was the second part? Oh yeah. The second part. um, So when you hope, be joyful is the first. Joyful. When you suffer, be patient was Uh, being patient while we were waiting for rain while i was praying for rain and what was the third part then when you pray be faithful yes yeah so i'm sure when when you were praying did you have trust in god that he was going to bring that rain yes i did yes i did awesome awesome so that's part of being faithful right just going to God and knowing that he will listen and answer your prayer when he calls. That was from last week, right? Yeah. When he calls, he will answer. <laughs> Psalm 138. Yeah. Um, yeah. So well, let's this see. Work for you. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, well, in all of my busyness, yes. I am continuing to be hopeful and hope for the best outcomes in everything that I'm doing. Um, and that gives me joy and knowing that God gives me the hope and I can be joyful even in the challenging times. Um, and you know, when I'm, when we're doing all of these things and it's so hard, I feel like I'm suffering at times, but I am asking God for patience through all of the different things that are going on now. And actually, when we were on our paddle boards, I did not know, we did not know how long it would take us to do the route. And, you know, we were going and going and going, and I was getting tired. And I thought, wow, <laughs> is it going to be the end yet? And you know, <laughs> no. we're getting to, you know, three quarters of the way, but I didn't know how far we were. I'm like, boy, I hope it's going to end soon because I don't <laughs> yeah. know if I'm going to make it. So I really had to be patient and endure that suffering of paddling. And <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, the kids are going to get so cranky and they're going to be jumping off the boards, and, but they didn't. <laughs> and good. we all had life jackets, so that was good. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. And then, you know, as we were coming around the bend, I was saying my prayers, saying, God, you know, please get us to the end of this safely quickly please and there we were we arrived (laughs) (laughs) i'm so glad i'm so glad yeah thanks so we talked about our highs and lows we read our scripture we talked about how the scripture applies to our highs and lows and now we're going to pray for each other Mm -hmm. all right so let's pray thank you lord for giving us hope for giving us a reason to be joyful. Um, Thank you for Janelle's sunflowers and the rain that you brought and the patience that you gave Janelle. And we pray that all of the people who are working in their gardens have patience um, for those fruits and vegetables and flowers to bloom and blossom. And, uh, And Lord, we just continue to be faithful and come to you in prayer whenever we need to. And we just thank you for being there for us. Gracious God, thank you so much for my friend, Michelle. Thank you so much for keeping her and her family safe 
on their trip, on their paddleboard as they went over the water. Thank you for giving Michelle patience and hope and giving her strength and peace as she works through all of her uh, tasks and things that she's working on. Uh, dear Lord, please be with her and her family and keep her safe and healthy. Mm, thank you. We love you, God. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to us and sacrificing his life and just giving us all your love through him. We love you and we pray this in your most holy name. And we all say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thanks, Janelle. And then our last step is our blessing. So here we go. The Lord bless, bless you, you and keep you. Keep you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, families. We hope you can take this scripture, Romans 12, verse 12, and dive into it every day and apply it to your highs and lows. All right. Yeah. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye.